our mini Iceland series here. Flown by. It has flown by, but it has been so great. So since you last saw us at the Blue Lagoon in the last video that we did, we've unfortunately had some really great highs, but also some lows. So yep. we celebrated Ben's birthday dinner last night, which was mm -hmm. so wonderful. Thank you. Happy birthday. Wow. Thank you very much. Good. Happy birthday. <laughs> Go out. <laughs> but unfortunately we found it out we found out that we needed to do take a COVID test today yep. and we had to cancel our 12 hour full tour of the south part of the island that we were really looking forward to yeah it was a bummer so you need to get a COVID test to go back to the United States and long story short we thought we were going to be able to use the one we got at the airport after arriving here and it didn't work out that was a no-go so we had to get another one kind of at the last second so we had to take a bus a little bit outside of the main area to get a proper test but that interfered with our tour time so mm -hmm. we've had to shift but we still have some exciting stuff spontaneously planned we for today. do yes we made a pivot to a puffin tour which is where we're heading right now and and I'm really excited for this it's a really volcano tour tonight. Yeah, so there is a, a volcano that is active right now as we are here in Iceland, and it's actually a really cool sort of rare opportunity. Yes. And yeah. so we're excited to go do that from five o'clock to 10 o'clock tonight. So if you don't really care about seeing the puffins and you just clicked on the video for the volcano, then go ahead to the five minute mark. Okay, so we booked their puffin tour through a place called Special Tours that's here just down on the harbor, and they're great so far. We already went with them for a whale watch tour that we did yesterday. I'm excited to see puffins so much because I feel like I've been flying through the Reykjavik airport. Like I, I've flown through it a billion times and I've yeah, always yeah, seen like keychains, puffin, you know, tea claws, like whatever. And it's actually so exciting that we'll actually get to see a puffin for the first time ever in real life. So it'll be fun. Oh, welcome on board. Thank you. Such a fun little small boat. Cool, eh? A bit smaller than yesterday. A lot smaller than yesterday. You can see the, the boat behind you, actually. <laughs> so we're, right now we're heading to the island where all the puffins are, and apparently that's where they're breeding and mating and everything, and so we're really excited to get there. But on the way here, we can't help but notice this massive boat, and apparently it's a yacht of somebody who's very rich from Russia, it sounds like, and his net worth is like 17 million or something insane. It's kind of surreal to look at, and it's fun that we have, like, we can see this and the puffins, apparently. The rumor yeah. is the bottom deck is made of glass or something yeah, like that, so you can see the water below. See some puffins? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. She was saying they're actually about the size of, like, a pigeon. They're, like, really small. They're only about, like, a high or so, so it's kind of hard for us to probably pick it up with the camera, but they are so cute, and there's tons of them everywhere. Oh, look, there's that one flying in the water. <laughs> graceful uh, they can reach speeds of up to 88 kilometers an hour oh, when wow. they fly which is pretty good huh yeah Whatever. that's pretty fast there's so many more puffins than i was expecting this is amazing <laughs> they're so funny how they fly so they only come here uh, until august and then they come back out in the ocean where no one really knows it's just so amazing to see this island where they make their little burrow nests they have it? it's so cool. they're so cute <laughs> oh wow to some delicious Icelandic stew before heading off. So it's a really wonderful, like authentic Icelandic dinner. We are heading off to one of our most exciting tours of the trip, which is going to see the active volcano, which is happening right now in Iceland. So we're gonna go wait for the bus, but this is gonna be a really interesting, and really cool experience. So let's go. We do have currently over 120 active volcanoes on the island. Wow. Um, 
so not erupting, of course, right. but with the potential to erupt. And that's just, you know, what, what, what is that right now? I'm sure that number was higher. How strong were the earthquakes leading up to the eruption? The strongest one we had was about a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. And of course, uh, those were all centered here in the valley we're about to drive through, Tracy, as well as uh, closer to the eruption site. And the stronger ones we can feel, of course, throughout the capital region. Um, I was living north of the bay um, on Essia, the big mountain that you can see from everywhere downtown. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the, the biggest ones I could feel all the way up there as well. Oh, very, wow. very clearly. Okay, so we are on our first stop of our volcano tour, and we've come to some hot springs. This is kind of like a checkpoint for us, but the drive here has already been spectacular. It was amazing. We saw a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a rainbow over here. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. wow. Over here to our left, we have a oh, my gosh. very that. famous Icelandic landmark, the rainbow. Cool. <laughs> we've been having really rainy weather the entire week, and it started clearing up, and so you could see for miles yeah. and it's spectacular. The roads are just unbelievable to drive through and again we got so lucky with visibility. There's like no trees here in Iceland so you can just see for miles. It's amazing. So we'll be walking through these just exploring them and we're waiting for another tour group to meet up with us but uh, once we go from here we'll be on to the main volcanoes. since we've gotten here and I can't believe that the sun's coming out right when we're about to start walking up to the top of the volcano. I mean, how lucky are we right now? This is just so cool, I can't get over it. I hope the camera can pick this up, but just listen to the sound of the ground bubbling below. It is. It just feels so alive and it's so atmospheric. So this is very much like feels like an Icelandic version of Yellowstone National Park here in, eh, back in the United States. Really sulfury smell. All these different hot springs bubbling up from the ground, just a dotting. It even goes all the way up there if you look up to that mount, top of that mountain there. It's just really amazing to see all this volcanic activity here. I just can't get over how quick the weather changed. So it was yeah. like so sunny and now it's all cold again. Yep. And I'm finding when you walk in different pockets, like you'll smell like over here, you can really smell like that rotten egg like rotten smell. Eggs, yep. And then you go just a few feet forward and you feel like no, you smell nothing. I know, yeah, it's crazy. But this is just, I think the start of just what's going to be a really cool tour because you start to see why it's called the land of ice and fire because all this volcanic activity is happening underneath us like this whole time. It's really cool. We have just arrived at the parking lot where we're going to be walking about an hour, an hour and a half in order to get to the topmost peak where we can actually see the lava and the volcano. You can we saw some of the lava in the distance while we were driving in. It's so cool. So the volcano erupted, I think, March 21st. So it's been going for a while and apparently the lava is getting more and more intense and spreading out more as the days go by. And we are in the parking lot, which they had just like quick made once this happened and they found out it was going to be tourist acceptable and it's kind of like the cute volcano that's not too scary and you can actually still experience it like we are right now. So we're going to get ready for our hike and then we'll see where what comes, what comes next. I'm, I'm super excited. Okay, yeah. It's already surreal. <laughs> okay, it is just so bright and sunny over here. It is just spectacular. I've been to Iceland several times before but have never looked at it even seen a little bit of sun. And so that is just breathtaking. But right now we are walking this way towards the volcano and it looks a little bit darker and more ominous, which you know feels a lot more fitting. So here. So. Heading into Mordor. I know, I feel like we're in New Zealand almost. It's <laughs> so cool. Talking your shoe yeah, already. Then there's a rainbow. I don't know if the camera just picked it up, but we just saw our second rainbow over there. And it's just I mean can this day get more magical. <laughs> what time is it right now? Oh good question. Uh, it's about 7.10. That's so crazy. It still feels like it's 3 o'clock. How yeah. are you finding the hike right now? I mean, it's really easy. They paved this nice path here um, to make it really smooth. Apparently the end is supposed to be a little bit harder. There's a one viewpoint that this path, this really easy path leads to. And then the second viewpoint is supposed to be a little bit more of like an incline. We <laughs> uh, forgot our hiking boots. I didn't bring mine because these are like the only waterproof ones that I have. Um, and then Rachel left mine in the apartment. Left 
occurs in the apartment, which is a bit of a bummer. But we'll still be fine. Uh, it'll still be really fun, and we'll just kind of take it easy. This is uh, really spectacular so far. We were just marveling at the background here. Trying to snap as many pictures as possible because, like, <laughs> you really can't miss right now, but it's so hard not to, like, just capture every moment. So, we're going to be walking right up there. Our guy was telling us that last week the weather was so bad that right at this point they were, the wind was pushing the lava so much into these little spots of llama, lava. <laughs> Llamas lava, everywhere. Little spots of lava coming down and starting to hit people so they had to turn back. So pretty crazy. I'm also feeling so really hot. I'm yeah. I'm expecting that. I don't know. So Could be the sun the hike, too. but The hike, the sun, and I think we're just getting closer. We're so focused on getting to the volcano before. <laughs> <laughs> so focused on getting to the volcano up ahead, but we didn't even notice this view, and it's breathtaking. Spectacular. Just look at that. We're going to meet up there again and decide who wants to continue up to the top viewing point, who wants to remain at the first viewing point. It's totally up to you. See how you feel. How's that sound? Sounds, Sounds good. good. So don't continue up to the very top without us, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, wow, it feels so volcanic. It's so dark here. We're here? We're here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Right behind you, this is right up there. Absolutely stunning. I've never seen a lot of my real life. It's been for me. I can't believe how windy it is. I don't think I'm going to get the drone up right now. That's for sure. Oh, I know. Yeah, I guess you can just view it from there. Is this viewpoint one or is that up there? This isn't even viewpoint one? Oh, and we're that excited. At point you can see the crater, so we're gonna, oh, okay. the others they start moving on. Okay, got so, it. This is the newest lava, like uh, one of the rivers. This is like a preview, this is not the viewpoint one. <laughs> okay. So, are those just tourists down there or? Uh, or are those maybe like scientists? I've no scientists. They came the first days. So I think now <laughs> oh, okay. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> the rescue team for uh, sure because I can see the van probably. Oh sure. Okay. I'm, I'm, my vision is not the best. And I think wow, maybe they just a few let people tourists. get that close. Just random people. Oh, we're gonna go also there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna be those people. <laughs> I know we're supposed to be in awe right now of the lava to the right, but I feel like we're just as <laughs> excited about this view to the left. Yeah, stop taking pictures. I know. It's all gorgeous. So we're walking up to viewpoint number one. We saw the first little bit of lava just now. And as Ben said, it was like, you're comparing it to like seeing the first bison in Yellowstone. Yeah, everyone's stopping, taking pictures, and there's a whole herd on the other side of the valley. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow, you can start to oh see Oh my that. gosh. That is so cool. That's spectacular. All right, so we are at the actual caldera. So there's actually six craters in here where, you know, lava is actually flowing from. So you can see it's actually floated up to this point, kind of piled up, up to where you can see right here. So we're just waiting. It should erupt about every 10 minutes. We should actually see geysers of lava coming out of it. So as the lava explodes, you know, start to cool down and start to like build a, a crater. Yeah. And after collapse, the, the caldera, you cannot see it. It's from the corner. Okay. Uh, but imagine that was flat. And the first crater was very close to us, but it's covered by lava now. Uh -huh. so you cannot really see it. Okay. There are six craters totally. Oh. Only one active, that one. Okay. Every 10 minutes, it's like a gazy, like... Oh, wow. cool. Yeah, and uh, if you go to the top later, you will be able to see the river, the massive river, like uh, overflow. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's starting. <gasps> there it is. Oh, can you see it? Oh, it's so far away, but it's right over there. Yeah, I can't get it, so I'm just gonna get it. Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. That is insane. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> wow. wow, second viewpoint's gonna be amazing. Oh, I can't wait to get up there. Viewpoint was incredible, but apparently the second one that we're going up the hill is even better, where you can actually see the lava point very clearly. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. That's fresh from the eruption. Oh my gosh, this is so You can cool. almost feel the heat coming off of it. I like that. The, the way the wind yeah. and the heat together. It's like a big together. bonfire, right, Rachel? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> almost there, Rachel. Look at that. I, I really have nothing to say. This is amazing. 
It is absolutely surreal. One of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. <sighs> you and me both. Look how expansive that is. Look at that. This is all lava. All and all very new. All that was made in like the last week or so. That's what happens when it erupts every 10 minutes. Wow. I'm like on the verge of tears right now. I'm just speechless. I mean, this is just one of those moments in your life where you just, what can you say? I mean, it is just amazing. I've just never seen anything like this and I don't know if you will again. It's a real once in a lifetime opportunity. Yep. I mean, people say that all the time, but this really, really is. This is amazing. There's the viewpoint right up ahead. I know. Here it comes, Rachel. starting to rain and we're gonna put you away <laughs> alrighty guys so we are at the bus terminal on the way back to the airport crazy how fast it went yes it went so fast but it was so full I can't believe how much we squeezed into two full days <laughs> oh my gosh just to wrap up our volcano bit um, it was crazy how quickly the weather turned on the way down. We have some footage from it just because we from didn't want to pull out the camera. But it is from our phones, but it was just so windy, yeah. so rainy. Changed on a dime. It was super slippery getting back down. Definitely rolled my ankle, but it was so worth it. It was fine. <laughs> it was but, amazing. Yeah. We got back at probably... Probably between but About midnight. midnight. Yeah. We ended up being later than anticipated because... Um, a rock got jammed into the back tires of our van, so we had some car happen? issues. <laughs> Crazy. Right? I know, they were like, we thought we blew a flat tire. We were like, okay, we're gonna be here for a while. But anyways, let's be sure, it was totally fine, but it was a pretty epic ending. <laughs> Running sure. on about four hours of sleep right now, because we had to get up at about 4.30 for the airport, yep. five-ish. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're headed back in Again, we just want to thank you for tuning in for this Iceland series. We have lots more coming up, more from the Northeast United States, so make sure to stay tuned. And as always, make sure to like this video down below and subscribe for more travel videos coming soon, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.